before you get rid of that body cream before you say that serum is not working before you complain that that toner is not working i need you to ask yourself when last did you exfoliate your skin hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is tolu lopwe and in today's video we'll be talking about everything and anything you need to know about exfoliation i recently uploaded a video on my channel where i talked about overhyped over -hyped skincare sorry about that and i touched briefly on exfoliation and somebody then requested that they need a video that they want me to explain in full deeply what exfoliation is all about so in this video i'll be telling you the benefits when you exfoliate your skin the benefit that you get the types of exfoliation the exfoliation product that you should use for your various skin type don't skip any part of this video because I promise you I am going to explain everything in detail, break it down that anybody will be able to understand what exfoliation is all about and how well to exfoliate their skin in order to get results by the end of this video. So don't skip any part of this video because I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. Watch this video, watch other ones from my channel, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed because I promise you, you're going to enjoy it over here. Exfoliation is the process of getting rid of the top cell or the dead skin layer of your skin and we are going straight into the types of exfoliation. We have two types. We have the chemical and the physical exfoliation. Because I am very particular about the chemical exfoliation, we are going to be starting first. Chemical exfoliation is when you use chemical substance to exfoliate your skin. That is get rid of dead skin layers of your skin from your skin however you want to call it so there are different types of chemical exfoliants there are different forms they come in forms of cleanser serum toner and even now we have some moisturizers that are helps in exfoliating your skin i am going to tell you the reason why you should exfoliate you should exfoliate because it helps in your cells regeneration it helps in the to boost the production of collagen on your skin it helps your skin to glow you know that glow finish you're looking for you need to add if you want to achieve that then you have to exfoliate your skin at least one to two what chemical exfoliation is all about let's go to let's go to physical exfoliation so physical exfoliation is the use of sugar coffee or abstract uh, scrub to exfoliate your skin i have example here this one is the one i like cool spa salt and this one is the one from the tea hot so these are types of physical exfoliants and this is what you use to get rid of dead skin layers for your skin in order to enjoy the exfoliation properties so before you get rid of that body cream before you say that serum is not working before you complain that that toner is not working i need you to ask yourself when last did you exfoliate People your skin? have reached out to me in the past that, oh, Tolu, you spoke about this particular cream or you spoke about this, I used it, it's not working for my skin. First, you need to be exfoliating your skin. If you want to get the best of your serum, of your cleanser, of your body cream, of your face moisturizer, you want to ensure that you're exfoliating your skin and getting rid of the dead skin cell because if you don't get rid of the dead skin, dead skin cells sorry it will not allow whatever product you are applying on the surface of your skin to penetrate deeply into your skin and if your products are not penetrating deeply into your skin how then do you get results that being said we'll be talking fully on exfoliating your face we all know that the texture of skin on our face is entirely different from that of the body that's when you see somebody breaking up on, on their face and their body is completely flawless because this is possible because the texture of the skin on the face is completely soft a bit more sensitive when compared to the texture of the skin on the body that being said you have to pay serious attention to the kind of exfoliant that you use for your face so we have as we all know we have different skin type and i am going to rec be recommending the best kind of chemical exfoliants for this various skin type we have combination to normal skin we have oily skin and we have acne pro skin we have oily or acne pro skin and we have dry skin most people that are all, that have serious oily skin are prone to acne so that is why i grouped oily and acne prone skin together so i'm going to be recommending the best kind of um, chemical exfoliants that you should use 
I, for instance, have normal to combination skin. And what do I mean combination skin? The texture of my skin is pretty normal. It's, it's not dry, but I get very oily on my T-zone that is around my nose, a bit of my forehead and my um, jawline. And that is why I call myself combination to oily skin type. And the best kind of chemical exfoliant for people with this type of skin just notice if you know you get oily around your t-zone and the texture of your face is not so dry then you are probably normal to oily skin and the best kind of chemical exfoliant that we recommend to this group is glycolic acid solution and a very good one that would be recommending that is very very affordable when compared to other kinds of brand is that from ordinary brand, brand has a glycolic acid that has 7% solution. I am going to show you mine now in case you have not seen it. What before. I am talking about, I use this on my face one to two times daily. And before we continue, I am going to tell you one beautiful thing about this ordinary solution. If you are the type that you have dark and pits, and it's so sad that even in 2022, a lot of people don't still understand that we people of color pro produce melanin, sorry, in certain part of our body more than other part of our body. And this is why we always battle with hyperpigmentation. Yeah. So if you see someone whose armpit is a bit darker than other parts of their skin, that does not mean they are dirty. That does not mean they don't have their bad. It might simply mean they produce more melanin in that area of their body. And your girl, to do your prayer here is here to help you. If you are the type that you notice that your armpit is a bit darker or your underarm is a bit darker than other parts of your skin, I would advise that when you've just freshly washed or shaved your uh, armpit and you are very sure that you did not cut yourself. So that's why most times if you really want to get rid of that underarm, I would advise that you stop shaving, that you start using wax because waxing is a bit cleaner and safer and you really don't get to hurt or cut yourself so i would advise that you use this with cutting board to clean your armpit i promise you if you do this two to three times a week for your underarm in at least two months you should be able to see a significant difference in the appearance of your armpit so guys when you sing that beyonce song black skin girl blah 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 when you see people produce melanin more in certain part of their body please do not accuse them of bleaching especially when they are not because people of color produce melanin and melanin can be produced more in certain part of our body than the other so guys stop judging people let's continue so long story short, if you have normal to combination skin, then glycolic acid is a very good one for you. Now let's move to the next type of skin. So if you are the type that you have sensitive skin, that is your skin is prone to break out, not even break out, for everything you use on your skin, you react to it. So that simply means you have a sensitive skin. I would advise that you do not use the glycolic acid solution because 7% is quite high and i promise you if you use it on your skin it's going to trigger you are going to have reaction so i would advise that you get the simplest composition of chemical exfoliants which is the mandelic acid the ordinary brand also have one i recommend you get um the mandelic acid you can get from any brand but just ensure that you get ma mandelic acid that's like the simplest composition of chemical exfoliant that is what i would recommend that you use on your skin so now let's move to the next type of uh, skin type which is the dry skin this is the type that no matter how you hydrate your skin your skin still gets dry you don't get oily on your face if this even if this is very good for makeup the only problem with dry skin people is they tend to have wrinkle easily they tend to have fine lines even when they will apply makeup and all of that but we are not really here to talk about dry skin what i'm just going to say is even people with dry skin still needs to exfoliate their skin because if you are running from exfoliation because you have dry skin that you don't want your skin to get even drier then you are wasting your time because there is no how the product the moisturizer that is supposed to hydrate your skin there is no how they are going to be able to get into your skin cell to do what it is supposed to do so i would advise that a very mild chemical exfoliant that will still do the job because you still need to exfoliate your skin even if you have dry skin and the best bet in the market that you should get is the lactic 
acid so guys don't mess this up if you have oily if you have a uh, normal to combination skin glycolic acid is your guy if you have sensitive skin mandelic acid is your jam and if you have dry skin lactic acid is your girl so are you getting it i'm sure i'm making sense please let me know in the comment section if you understand this video if you like this video if you want me to make more skin small skin related content or video please just tell your girl in the comment section and i'm going to come through for you so the last skin type that i will be talking about are the people that have oily skin like they don't get oily just on their t-zone sorry they get oily on their entire face like no matter what they do no matter the primer that they use under their makeup their oil is just going to be extracting so much oil like it's going to be as if they actually apply a facial oil on their skin and these people like 90 percent of people that have oily skin are prone to acne because the oil tends to clog their skin and you know when you have clogged pores that is what acne tends to build up from so i would advise that you make use of salicylic acid because salicylic acid is going to help you with the reduction of the oil production is going to help you regulate the serum production on your face and you are going to be fine so the best exfoliation for these people is salicylic acid and salicylic acid is not made is not oil based so it is like water soluble that is it allows water to penetrate and oil to penetrate into your skin and that is the best way for you to exfoliate your skin if you have serious oily prone skin because like i said most people with oily skin are prone to acne which is why i moved i merged sorry which is why i merged the two together now that we are done with me recommending the various type of chemical exfoliants that you should get for various skin type I am going to be telling you the benefits or the important that you tend you get to see on your face if you are exfoliating regularly with the right kind of chemical exfoliants for your face because trust me if you are not using the right type for your face you might not get results instead of even getting results you might end up hurting your skin because imagine somebody with sensitive skin making use of glycolic acid so don't go anywhere because we are going right now into the importance of exfoliating. one benefit you get from exfoliating your skin is it helps with your cell turnover number two is it helps with anti-aging number three three is it helps your skin to glow number four is it helps with the general appearance of your skin if you are exfoliating your skin well after exfoliating you should get a very smooth and beautiful texture and with this i have come to the end of this video let me know in the comment section if you've learned a thing or two let me know if you enjoyed this video let me also know if you want me to make more skin related video and i am going to come through for you guys i love you guys so much stay beautiful stay happy and enjoy yourself bye